This is the story of the elevator, the machine that reshaped cities. Ancient hoists lifted cargo and people with simple ropes and pulleys. Renaissance engineers sketched shafted lifts for palaces and mines. By the 18th century steam and hydraulic power began to appear. Everything changed with Alicia Otis and his 1852 safety brake patent. In 1857 the Hallout Building in New York installed the first commercial passenger elevator. Otis's brake made passenger elevators safe and commercially viable. Cable systems and counterweights increased speed and efficiency in tall buildings. In 1880 Werner von Siemens showed an early electric elevator in Berlin. Electric traction replaced steam and hydraulics across the late 19th century. Alexander Miles patented automatic closing doors in 1887 to prevent accidents. By 1900 elevators were essential for the age of the skyscraper. Regulations and inspection programs emerged as elevators multiplied in cities. Professional operators handled complex machinery until automatic controls arrived. Mid-20th century controls and safety interlocks improved reliability significantly. Hydraulic elevators remained common for low rises, traction dominated tall towers. Manufacturers like Otis, Schindler, Cohn, and Tyson expanded globally. Maintenance, standardized doors, and emergency brakes saved countless lives. Late 20th century introduced compact, machine room-less designs and flat belts. Computers and microprocessors brought precise control and energy recovery systems. Double-deck elevators and sky lobbies pushed buildings higher and denser. Today lifts are smart, connected, and optimized for urban mobility. The elevator transformed architecture, making vertical cities possible. From Otis's break to today's algorithms, the elevator keeps us moving.